Welcome to Sportsman's Warehouse, Columbia, South Carolina, Piney Grove Road exit off I-26. Brett Collins, director of the Carolina Angler's Team Trail and the Green Boat Motor Trail joins us. It's been a few weeks since we've been down to Sportsman's Warehouse in Columbia, but uh, Brett, a lot going on in your world, specifically Carolina Angler's Team Trail. You're in your 15th year, and you realize the other day you've paid out almost $1 million. Yeah, we're getting close, John. I, I never thought it would have. Uh... Uh, you know, reach that total, but you know, we've had a lot of support and we appreciate the support and uh, we're going to continue to grow, I believe. Well, you were talking about this fall, you know, you're going to have a lot of uh, divisions in North Carolina possibly this fall as well as expansion in South Carolina. That's right. We're going to try to hit Lake Russell and Lake Hartwell and uh, Lake Moultrie. The guys down there, they, they want to fish a fall trail. And uh, we're going to look more into North Carolina. We need to expand a little more there. Well, you know, we got a lot of anglers up in that Yadkin River chain and up uh, on Falls Lake and Jordan and some of those great lakes uh, up that way. But uh, let's transition and talk to you. you got a, a tournament this weekend down on Santee. You know, people are thinking, oh, it's 100 degrees, nobody's fishing. Well, they are fishing. you got a tournament down there, and, hey, fish are biting. Yeah, the fish been biting pretty good down there. There's a big crawfish hatch again. Uh, but, you know, some of the guys are still bringing in 18, 19 pounds to win. Well, I tell you what, we uh, always look forward to tracking your events, and you've been great on putting your top five on our anglerschannel.com blog, which uh, he does a fantastic job of. You know, we've also got some tournaments coming up around the corner that are coming our way. The PAA is going to be at Lake Norman in, uh, in uh, August, and we've got uh, uh, the Mountain Music Kids Festival. We're going to on July 31st up in Tennessee on Douglas Lake. 400 boats, Brett, uh, parent-child combinations. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, even though it's August, the, the fish are still biting. The local tournament watery took 21 pounds. So, you know, anywhere, if, if you can fish deep enough, you're going to catch a good bag. You know, you made a comment before we started today. You hadn't been to Sportsman's Warehouse in a month or two, and you said, doggone, they got a lot of reels down here. We've been telling people they got more inventory in this store than they've had in years. Oh, yeah, the first thing I noticed, we got reels all at my feet. I mean, there's hundreds of reels back here. So, you know, they've stocked up good. This is the place to come get your reels. I'll tell you what, with all the tournaments that are still, you know, we got night tournaments going on at Lake Murray. we got night tournaments going on at Watery and Wiley. I mean, night, turn, night fishing's become a big deal. Yeah, night fishing's really big. The guys get away from the heat, and the fish bite really well. Yeah, they do. Well, uh, any other news about uh, Green Boat and Motor? I know you got a tournament coming up in September. You haven't nailed the day down yet. It's a makeup tournament, I believe, for one you missed, right? Well, yeah, and, uh, you know, the championship's, championship's going to be in uh, October, uh, October the 9th and 10th at Lake Wiley. We've had good support with that trail, and next year we really look to, to uh, add on a lot more teams. Well, I'll tell you what, this has been a busy man this year running the Green Button Motor Trail and the Carolina Anglers Team Trail, and uh, if any of you are interested in fishing any of his uh, trails, all you got to do is go to the anglerschannel.com tournaments page, or you can go to Green Boat and Motor and click on their tournaments page, or you can go to carolinaanglersteamtrail.com. So, boy, that was a mouthful. I'm glad I didn't stumble too bad. Brett, good seeing you. Uh, if, if you are fishing right now with the water temps all in the 90s, give us one quick uh, piece of advice. Hey, you can still find some fish shallow. There won't be many, and it, it'll be early. But after that, you better fish deep. And what do you use? Well, drag a three-quarter ounce jig, a football head jig. Some people are using heavy spinnerbaits now, and that's, that's a real good thing to use. Heavy spinnerbaits for deep fishing. Well, we look forward to seeing what these guys catch them on down at Santee this weekend and throughout the region. We appreciate you joining us. Great to be back at Sportsman's Warehouse. Remember, for a location near you, go to www.sportsmanswarehouse.com. Take care.